Hey everyone, it's that time of year again. The PC Insider's Report Holiday Edition for 2023 is out. So I went to my store this morning to pick up everything that was available to me at my local store so we can try out some of these amazing new products, decide what's worth buying and what's worth skipping. So come along with me as we try all the great new foods. Let's start off with the beverages. First up is sparkling water, cranberry ginger ale flavor. This costs $5.29 and you get 12 cans. The cans are each 355 milliliters. The package says that it's gonna be refreshing, tart, and zingy with zero calories. So let's try it out. This was a very fizzy sparkling water with a very light cranberry flavor. I did not get any ginger ale at all in this. It would be great as a mixer or for somebody who doesn't drink alcohol. I give it six out of 10. Next, we're gonna be trying the rich and creamy chocolate eggnog. It costs $3.79 and it's a one liter bottle. It's advertised as a rich and creamy eggnog with cocoa, a hint of cinnamon and nutmeg flavor at 130 calories per half cup. To me, this didn't taste like eggnog at all. It tasted mostly like chocolate milk with a hint of cinnamon. It was very good and I did like that it wasn't too thick. I will give this an eight out of 10. Next up is the Decadent Hot Chocolate Mix. It costs $4.49. It comes in a container of 450 grams and it's 290 calories per cup. The package says that it's rich and creamy with an unmistakably delicious flavor made from real chocolate chips and inspired by the decadent chocolate chip cookies. To make this hot chocolate, you take three tablespoons of the dry powder and you add it to one cup of boiling milk. There is no directions for using water. The most important thing to know about this hot chocolate mix is that it's not flavored like plain hot chocolate. It's actually flavored like the decadent chocolate chip cookies that they sell in Superstore. So if you like the package decadent chocolate chip cookies that are sold in the cookie aisle, you will really like this hot chocolate. I did find that the chocolate chips in the mix didn't melt and were sitting in the cup after I was done drinking this. I give this a seven out of 10. Next up is the Chicken Parm Radiatory Bake at $12.99. The product weight is one kilogram and it comes with four servings. Each serving is about 320 calories. The product is advertised as tender breaded chicken cutlets topped with mozzarella on a bed of fresh made radiatory pasta designed to hold as much rosé sauce as possible. It gives instructions to cook it either in the microwave or in the oven. I chose to cook it in the oven. The baking instructions are simple. You just lift the corners of the film to vent, place it on a baking tray and bake it at 400 for 50 minutes. Then you remove the film and let it bake for another 10 minutes to crisp up the top. I thought this was a pretty good pre-made meal. I did think that the pasta got a bit mushy, as well as the underside of the chicken was quite mushy, although the top was nice and crispy. The sauce was very good without being overly acidic, and you couldn't taste much cheese, it was mostly just a texture thing. The main issue I had with this meal was I only had two larger sized chicken pieces, as well as two very small chicken pieces, which were probably about the size of a chicken nugget. So if you were going to feed four full grown adults, you would definitely need some salad or some bread on the side to bulk up the meal. We gave this an eight out of 10. Now let's try the candy cane cookie dough ice cream bites. These cost $5.49 and you get six per package. There's 170 calories per two cookie dough bites. The package advertises it as peppermint ice cream with candy cane pieces wrapped in chocolate cookie dough. I found these cookie dough bites to definitely be better than their summer ones. They were less sweet and the peppermint ice cream really help offset that cookie dough sweetness. 
I'm still not a huge fan of the texture of the cookie dough. It still has that graininess, but if you enjoy raw cookie dough, you might really like these. I gave them eight out of 10. And here we have the ice cream cupcakes at $7.49 per package. There are four cupcakes per package and there's two flavor options, either chocolate or vanilla. It is 160 calories per cupcake. The product advertises that you can have your cake and ice cream too. It's pretty much just a cupcake with a bit of the center scooped out and some ice cream put in the middle. I chose to get the vanilla ones today. They're birthday cake flavored with vanilla ice cream as well as some sprinkles on top. I really enjoyed these. They tasted like childhood. I would definitely get them again. The biggest issue I have with them is the price. You only get four for $7.50. It's quite expensive. So because of that, I gave it an eight out of 10. Here we have the Chopped Harvest Crunch Salad at $5.49. The salad includes broccoli, green leaf lettuce, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, carrots, and green onion, and comes with an apple cider vinaigrette. The add-ins in this salad are crispy carrot strips, roasted pepitas, and crispy beet strips. The toppings got lost in it since everything was crunchy and there were no different textures to tell it apart. Because of that, I gave it a four out of 10. The next salad to try is the chopped lemon tahini crunch salad at $5.49. It has the exact same salad ingredients as our other salad, which included broccoli, green leaf lettuce, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, carrots, and green onion. This one comes with a zingy lemon tahini dressing. The add-ins are roasted chickpeas and falafel seasoning blend. While I found this salad to be tastier than the other one, it still wasn't very special. The thing that stood out the most were the roasted chickpeas and I got no lemon or tahini from the dressing. It just tasted like a basic vinaigrette. Because of that, I'm gonna give this salad five out of 10. Here we have the wood-fired pepperoni pizza for $5.99. It's 378 grams and 460 calories for half of the pizza. One of the things I found interesting about this pizza is it is imported from Italy. The box says that it's lightly charred with a soft center and topped with a tomato sauce before it's baked in a traditional wood-fired oven on volcanic stone. You can bake this pizza directly on your bottom rack in your oven or you can do it on the barbecue. This is the best frozen pizza I've ever had. The crust was crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside with a nice charred taste. As well, you could actually taste the cheese and the pepperoni. I did find the pepperoni to be very spicy, although it was labeled mild on the box. Unless your kids enjoy a stronger flavored pepperoni, I'm not sure how family friendly this pizza would be, but I would definitely eat it again. I gave this pizza a nine out of 10. Next up is the World of Flavors Turkey Stuffing Chips. They cost $2.79 for a 200 gram bag. Each serving is 250 calories. The bag says these chips are made with a blend of sage, thyme, pepper, and roast turkey notes. I found these chips to be very tasty. Although they didn't really remind me of turkey stuffing, they did remind me of turkey gravy. A ruffle chip is also the best for dipping. I gave these chips a seven out of 10. Now we have the eggplant Parmesan Svoliatelle for $10. You get 10 pieces in each 420 gram box. The box says that it is imported from Italy and it's 190 calories per two pieces. It's advertised as 50 plus delicate layers of pastry with an eggplant, tomato sauce, three cheese filling. One thing I like about this is that there's instructions on how to cook it in the air fryer as well as the oven. 
I chose to cook mine in the air fryer. This cooked up great in the air fryer. It was very crispy and flaky. The filling was really nice. It tasted mostly of tomatoes. I didn't get any eggplant or cheese from these. Although it would probably be pretty messy to eat at a party, because it was so delicious and crispy, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Here we have the Holiday Feast Turkey Stuffing Burgers. They cost $15 and you get 4 patties in every 568 gram box. You can cook this either on the barbecue or on the stovetop and there's 200 calories per burger. The package says that this is a unique take on a holiday dinner packed full of stuffing and cranberries and seasoned with gravy notes and classic turkey spices. So good you're going to want to skip the meal. I chose to cook this burger patty on my George Foreman grill. This turkey burger tastes exactly how it's advertised. You can taste the turkey, you can taste the cranberries, as well as the stuffing and all of the classic spices. The main downside with this turkey burger was that it is quite dry and would definitely need some sort of cheese and sauce to perk it up a little. I give these burgers a 7 out of 10. Next is the Smoky Bonfire Double Smoked Bacon. This costs $6.99 and comes in a 375 gram package. As you can see, I got this 30% off. Two slices of this bacon is 210 calories. The preparation instructions say you can either pan fry it or cook it in the oven. This bacon is advertised as an intensely Canadian flavor of being unforgettably smoky and sweet, much like that of bacon cooked over an open fire. This bacon was very good. I didn't get any extra smoke from it. It mostly just tasted like regular bacon. There are a couple other flavors I'd be interested in trying to see if I can actually taste anything extra in it. Because it's bacon and bacon is always good, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Next up are the all butter croissants for $5.99. There are four croissants in each 312 gram bag. Each croissant is 280 calories. This product is imported from France and advertises that it's made with 100% French butter. The package says that these are buttery rich and flaky, made in classic French tradition with whole eggs and butter. There are three different kinds of croissants available in the store. I got the plain, but there's also one with chocolate in the middle and one with raspberry in the middle. These are very simple to make. You just open the package, take the frozen croissant, place it on a baking pan and bake it at 375 for 22 minutes. These were fantastic. Probably the best croissants that you can buy in a store without having to go to a special French bakery. These were crispy, flaky and buttery. A really simple yet delicious breakfast to throw in the oven while you're opening Christmas presents. Again, the only issue with these is the cost. There's only four for $6, but for a special occasion, I would definitely buy them. I gave them a 10 out of 10. These are the Parmesan Black Truffle Polenta Fries. They cost $10 and there's 14 sticks for every 420 gram package. There is 170 calories for three pieces. The box says that these indulgent polenta fries are a unique take on a restaurant favorite. The outside is crispy and the inside is creamy with umami flavors. These can be served as a side dish or as an appetizer, and their instructions on the back say they can be cooked in the oven or in the air fryer. I thought these were very delicious. They were exactly as the package advertised. The outside was crispy and the inside was creamy and almost cheese-like. As somebody who doesn't like truffle, I didn't find the truffle flavor to be overpowering at all. 
Because this was quite a unique product, I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. Next up is the Pomodoro Cauliflower Gnocchi at $5.99. This is a 350 gram bag and it's advertised as a gluten-free product. These gnocchi were imported from Italy. There's two ways to prepare this gnocchi. You can either prepare it in the microwave or on the stove top. And there's only 310 calories for the entire package. The package states that these gnocchi are soft and pillowy and coated in a herbed pomodoro sauce. It also advertises that this is a meal that can be made in minutes. I chose to cook it on my stove top. I loved how quick and easy this meal was. It came together in a couple of minutes and I had a hot meal to eat. I did find the sauce slightly overpowering. I wish it was kept on the side in a little packet, but it was still a very delicious product. I also really appreciated that this was a gluten-free option. I gave this gnocchi an eight out of 10. Next up is the Butter and Sage Sweet Potato Gnocchi for $5.99. This is a 400 gram bag and this one was also imported from Italy. It is the same as the other gnocchi. It can be cooked in the microwave or on the stove top. And there's 550 calories per one and a half cups. The package states that this sweet potato gnocchi is coated with a butter and herb sauce and can be made in minutes. I thought this gnocchi was delicious and I would definitely buy it again. The sauce was very mild and if I made this again I would definitely add a little extra seasoning. Because this gnocchi was so delicious I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is the butternut squash risotto. It costs $5.99 and comes in a 400 gram bag. This is another product that's imported from Italy and can be put together in just a couple of minutes. The package says that it's made with carnaroli rice for extra creaminess mixed with butternut squash and Italian cheeses. It can be cooked in the microwave or on the stove top. And there is 450 calories for one and a half cups. This was an excellent risotto. It was very creamy and cheesy and it came together really fast with just a little bit of water. I think this is also a very family friendly meal as I could barely taste the butternut squash. It mostly just tasted like cheese. I will give this a 9 out of 10. The last product I'm going to try today is the Porkless Belly Bao Kit. It is a 480 gram box and it has 8 individual baos. It includes the porkless belly, the buns, as well as some hoisin sauce. The porkless belly is made with seasoned jackfruit, cabbage, jicama, white radish, and king oyster mushroom. It is a certified vegan product and is 410 calories per three baos. It is also imported from Vietnam. To make this product, you can make it on the stovetop in a pan and in a steamer or you can use your microwave. The box advertises this as a plant-based take on a dim sum classic. Porkless belly is tender on the inside and crispy on the outside with a soft bao bun and a hoisin sauce. As someone who is not vegan, I did find this to be quite tasty. The porkless belly did have a bit of a weird texture where it was trying to represent fat but the soft bao bun and the nice hoisin sauce made it a really nice little bite. You can add either some cucumber or some carrot inside to add a little bit of extra texture. This is a great vegan option. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10.